Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of Cedarburg's Winter Festival, where the air is filled with the delightful scents of roasted chestnuts and spiced cider. Picture this, twinkling lights strung across the festival grounds, casting a warm glow on the snow-covered paths. Our protagonists, Maggie Thompson and Eli Rodriguez, are about to embark on a journey that will unravel the mysteries of the past. So, buckle up and get ready for an adventure filled with laughter, tension, and the promise of discovery. Let's dive right in. As the Winter Festival continued to unfold, Maggie Thompson, with her curly brown hair bouncing with each step, clutched Eli Rodriguez's hand tightly. The festival grounds were alive with twinkling lights and the laughter of children. Yet beneath the surface, an undercurrent of tension rippled through the crowd. Maggie's bright green eyes sparkled with curiosity as she turned to Eli, her voice filled with determination. Eli, we have to find Mrs. Hargrove. She knows so much about the town's history. Maybe she can help us understand the snowflakes. Eli, with his warm brown eyes and cozy sweater, nodded, though a shadow of uncertainty crossed his face. The weight of his own family's secrets loomed large as they approached the elderly historian's booth. Mrs. Hargrove, with her silver hair tied neatly in a bun and colorful shawls draped around her shoulders, welcomed them with a twinkle in her blue eyes. Ah, my dear children, what brings you to my little corner of history? Her voice was a soothing balm, and Maggie felt a surge of hope. We want to learn about the stories behind the snowflakes, Mrs. Hargrove. They seem so special, like they hold memories of the past. Mrs. Hargrove began to weave tales of Cedarburg's history, her voice rich with emotion. Maggie listened intently, her heart racing with each revelation. The stories were filled with laughter and sorrow, and Maggie felt a connection to the town she had never experienced before. Yet, as the tales unfolded, a shadow fell over their conversation. A rival group, a collection of skeptical adults clad in dark clothing, loomed nearby. Their expressions hardened against the warmth of the festival. What are you children doing? One of the members sneered, arms crossed defiantly. You think you can just dig up the past and make it pretty? Some stories are too painful to face. Maggie's resolve hardened. She glanced at Eli, who stood beside her, his expression a mix of determination and fear. We're not trying to make anything pretty. We just want to understand. Isn't that what the festival is about? Remembering. Her voice rang out, clear and unwavering, cutting through the tension like a knife. The rival group exchanged glances, their skepticism palpable, but Maggie felt a flicker of hope. Perhaps, just perhaps, they could bridge the gap between the past and the present. As the festival lights twinkled above, casting a warm glow on the snow-covered ground, Maggie's heart raced with the thrill of discovery. She was ready to confront her father, Jack, about the shadows that lingered in their family history, ready to unearth the secrets that had kept them apart for too long. The chapter closed with a sense of anticipation, the echoes of the past whispering through the crisp winter air, urging Maggie and Eli forward on their quest for understanding. And there you have it, folks. Another chapter filled with mystery and emotion. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more exciting adventures. Until next time, keep those imaginations soaring.